Yeah, I, th- I think they are too, and, and the internet is. But I think part of what, if you want to say what an ego is and what it does, is it it sort of wants to sort of take ownership and, and kind of stake a claim mm-hmm. uh, in all this, like a very personal claim. And, and I think it's easy to be as a teacher to do something like that. And I think that the, the further awakening is that when we open our eyes to that process and then we start to welcome in all these voices, as I always feel like, that, that all the wisdom is speaking to us in all different directions. All we have to do is just listen, you know, and, and find out that the, the thing that we're ignoring or repressing or pushing away is being reminded of us, but by somebody else. It's saying, take a look at that. Yeah. You know, it's like it, get away from your extreme view and just take a look at what you're doing, and it's sort of just kind of teaching us in every direction. So that's I think that's part of the uh, if if there is an awakening, that to me that's part of it. Is, yeah. Do you find yourself? Um listening to other voices a lot i mean do you read do you do you listen to recordings of other teachers and all in, in order to just sort of expose yourself to different perspectives and different ways of saying things yeah i mean just in the last year i've gotten into madhyamaka buddhism i mean mm-hmm. very deeply and it's just been an amazing thing to see what's gone on in a certain school of that and and mm-hmm. just 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 read it kind of discover that and yeah and then i'll i'll you know sometimes i just like to to just play music, frankly, uh-huh. or or to just spend time with the family and kind of get away from the whole talk of it. Sure, yeah. But it can, it can get obsessive. Yeah, it gets a little obsessive. But yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'm inter- I'm, I'm always interested in um, in voices that are um, kind of fresh and that are really inclusionary and um, anything along those lines. You know, it really kind of grabs my ear. For yeah. Uh huh. Um, do you actually do any spiritual practices? So, you know, you say Buddhism. I mean, do you actually sit and do a kind of a Buddhist meditation or 